do you do you have a question? Yes. Yeah, if you could say anything in 30 seconds to the whole world, what would that be? Hi, I'm Sam. I'm from Long Island, New York. And if I had to say something to like everyone in the world, it would be to like learn to listen to each other's opinions and like I don't know, kind of learn to accept each other in a sense. Like, if you disagree on something, agree to disagree, and then you try to learn as much as you can from other people. Yeah. Hi. My name is Maximilian Peters, and I'm from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I would say uh, I think we should all respect one another. Uh, a lot of times we just see the differences that divide us, but we have so much in common. And as a world, we get into so many conflicts, but we don't uh, consider that the other person on the other side of the table is just like us in so many ways and is another person and deserves dignity and respect. Mm -hmm. um, hi, I'm Sofia. Uh, I'm partly Russian, partly Lithuanian, but I grew up in Moscow and now I study in England. Um, I would encourage everyone not to uh, generalize and especially not to make stereotypes or any preconceived judgments about a person based on their, na on their nation's leader. So for example, Trump does not represent all of the Americans, Putin does not represent all of Russians and that the reason I'm telling you that is because I was faced with a lot of people saying, oh yeah, like, you know, you must be someone like Putin, but I'm not, everyone is different, so I would encourage people not to make generalizations. Yeah. Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Sam Safferstein, and I'm from Portland, Oregon, in the United States. Um, and if I was going to address the world, I think the thing that I would say is that um, we need to spend some time learning to value intercultural relations and intercultural communications. So what I mean by that is taking the time to um, build empathy in the younger generations through education um, and taking the time to meet people and like push yourself so that you can communicate with people who are outside of your like social bubble. So for me, I, I'm a middle class white female and I'm naturally drawn to other middle class white females. And it's my duty as a global citizen to um, work and communicate with people who are kind of outside that realm and I think through doing that we can build cooperation and empathy and through that I think global peace. Hi guys, my name is Nam and I'm from Vietnam. Um, I think that if there's anything that I could say to the whole world in 30 seconds it would be that right now in this time of crisis and this time of conflict everywhere in the world I think it's very important for diversity to be respected. I think it's important that we all should be global citizens so that we can all learn from each other and that we can all uh, benefit more from each other's worldviews and each other's perspective. So that's all I want to say. My name is Hena, I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And my message for the world is care for the children, care for their health, for the edu their education and safety. Mm -hmm. I am Tinda, I am from the Kurdish part of Turkey. Okay, uh, it will sound probably cliche for many people, but to me, as we are all people at the core, and we are all part of this nature around us, it doesn't matter if you make these all these buildings or uh, created things that may not uh, seem like we are part of the nature anymore. To me, we should love anyone in the world, including uh, any race, any ethnicity, any religion. And be because we are all this par part of nature, we should also be able to love this tree right next to me or the dog right next there. And basically, this whole process can start from not killing each other. It happens in every country in many different ways. And my first advice to all people in the world, maybe we may not want to listen to each other, but at least make sure that our actions does not hurt anyone in any way. Um, hi, my name is Martina Roman and I'm from Quito, Ecuador. Something that I would like to say to the world in 30 seconds is that um, Latin America does exist 
And <laughs> I know we're not taking into account in many situations, but we're actually a really cool place, a really amazing place to visit. We're full of culture and full of amazing music and amazing food. And it's not just because it's not mentioned as much in the news or it's not it's not noticeable like in global politics, it's a really amazing place to be and to go to. Hi guys, my name is Steven Mao and I, I was born in San Francisco, but I moved to Beijing when I was like six years old. And I stayed in Beijing for like five years. One thing that I would like to talk to you guys is like, just follow your passion. I know like probably you guys, like the majority of you guys are high schoolers. I just, I just think like, as a high schooler, you gotta just explore all kinds of possibilities. Uh -huh. And to find the one that you're truly passionate about. And just carry it on. And like, whether to pursue it as a major in college or just uh, do extracurricular activities as like, in general. So like, yeah, I wish you guys a good day. Hi, my name is Rumbito Dangarenvizi and I'm from Zimbabwe and I am 18 years old. Oh. Well, I'd like to tell people to be who you are and don't care about what the other people are going to say because at the end of the day, when you put your all into something and when you are who you want to be without everybody else's influence, that's when you are your whole self and you feel like you are living. Hi guys, I'm Uman Kamra, I'm from New Delhi, India. One message that I want to convey to the world is that if the system doesn't fall down to you, you fall down to the system. I think that you shouldn't fall down to the system. You should let it fall down to you. Believe in your ideals. Do not go by the flawed system. And please, please act for change. Thank you. Hi, I'm Yifei and I come from Beijing, China. I would like to say to the world, to the people of the world, that you matter. Like, whatever you do to help this world, like, it makes an impact. And if you speak up or, like, write a blog or start a blog about an issue that matters to you, it, it matters and it does have a huge impact on the world.